Democrats absolutely hate black Americans. And I'm going to prove it in this video. Check this out. Another meeting is planned tonight to discuss a proposal to make Daly College a respite center for hundreds of migrants. Mm -hmm. Chicago City Council, of course, we know approved $51 million to support migrants. And the debate continues. ABC 7 political analyst Laura Washington is here to talk more about it. Laura, good morning to you. Good morning. $51 million is expected to last 30 days or so. Then what? And that was quite a debate. It was, it was very emotional, very chaotic in the city council yesterday. There's a lot of disagreement about that money. Yeah. It's very chaotic. A lot of disagreement. You want to know where... You want to know what group of people this disagreement came from? The weakest group in America. AKA black folks. Let's get it. Thought I told you niggas once before. What? King Leo was the greatest. He gon' fucking soar. Yeah. And when one door closes, I'ma open more. I'm like Jordan on a beat when I'm ready to score. Rap Ooh. ninja interested in getting fast figures. A fact spitter with lyrics. Before we get started, let's pick up from where we left off. Cause I already watched some of this, most of, actually most of this, and I was extremely upset, guys. It's only gonna last a month. They, the council has not decided how they will extend that money, if they can extend that money. They're, they had to move some money around to get this, this, these dollars in, so it's a big question. Well, can you give us any more information about where this money is coming from and where potentially more money might come if, if further appropriations are approved? It was, it was pull, pulled out of other parts of the budget. Some, some money was readjusted in the current budget. Uh, the c city council does not know where they're going to get the rest of the money from. There are other possible sources. The, the state of Illinois has legislated uh, just last week some additional funds, but in layman's terms, what this um, sellout is telling you is, um, yeah, Chicago has money for the migrants, but they just don't have money for the people of Chicago that have been living in Chicago all their lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 we got the money. We just don't have it for you guys. In layman's terms, that's what they're saying, guys. It's not hard to understand. You know, one of the most common sayings in America is broke ASS ninja. You hear that a lot from black women uh, and some black men as well. Broke ASS ninja. Not only that, but you'll actually see a good number of homeless black men out on the street. You have probably personally seen a lot of them. But what a lot of you don't understand is that once upon a time, there was no such thing as a broke ASS ninja. Let me explain Let's take it back to Black Wall Street at a time where segregation was at an all-time high. Blacks were doing very well for themselves. Running businesses, had churches, had schools, fully self-efficient. What happened to that place and what happened to Seneca Village and what happened to uh, Rosewood and what happened to all of these other places. There's, there's, there's several of them, guys. You have to you have to do your research. The same things kept happening to these places. They kept being destroyed by white supremacists. OK, they kept destroying them. So fast forward to the point where point the point to where blacks simply gave up trying to, you know, own stuff, trying to build their own community communities and trying to maintain their own communities. Now you have a bunch of white companies that are doing what they're doing the obvious, letting go as many black workers as they possibly could. 
You see, these white companies are doing what they're supposed to do. They're, they're doing what, what their belief system encourages, encourages them to do. Disenfranchise as many black men as possible. And I say black men because black women don't count. No disrespect to black women, but you are not a man. So therefore, you are not a threat to them. They will, they will uh, uh, promote a black woman even over a white woman in some cases in these companies because a black woman is not a threat. A black man is a threat because a black man, if, if he is, um, you know, put up, you know, uh, uh, if he gets the raise and if the black man gets, you know, promoted and stuff like that, that sends a message to other black men like, wow, I could do that too. And they can't have a bunch of a bunch of successful minded black men. They can't. America can't have that. That's why they do everything in their power to criminalize black men. So. Let me tie this into this story here, uh, this uh, video here. The migrants coming over. OK. This is another racial tactic of America to uh to further to further um destroy black americans to further um you know to to just make black americans suffer even more so what's going on with the with the migrants is they're being used as the replacement of black america in, in in white America's eyes, they want every they want most, if not every black person to be poor. Right. When you move the migrants in. OK, when you move the migrants in, these are not black migrants. These are a bunch of freaking Hispanics that look more white than anything. And their belief system is more white than anything as well. And the white supremacist is fully of fully aware of this. This is why they're they're bringing so many of them in. They understand what they're, what they're, you know, how racist they are. They understand this already. They understand that a Mexican, you know, a, 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 a Ecuadorian is not going to try to help build a black business. They're not going to work hand in hand with black businesses. They understand this. This is why it's so important that they are bringing so many of them here. Now, I also want to let you guys know that um, look at where they're dumping these migrants off at they're not spreading they're not spreading them out in chinatown in new york they're not spreading them out in the indian you know you know the indians from india they're not spreading them out there they're not spreading them into white communities they are only guys i want you to pay attention to what i'm trying to tell you they're only dumping Loads and loads of migrants into black communities. They are trying to replace blacks. Ultimately, what their goal is, is to make the migrants the new black and make the current black people a bunch of poor, busted, broke, homeless and needy people that are out there begging, begging for change and begging for some food and uh, give it a good 15, 20 years. The main people they're going to be begging are the same migrants that they that they're flooding into these black communities. That's what their goal is. See, white America is sitting back laughing at black America right now. <laughs> you wanted the Democrats, right? <laughs> you wanted the Democrats to run. And you see what's happening in Chicago. Where that black mayor. He got all that money for, for the for the migrants. He's a he's a dark skinned black man, too. Must have thought he was on your side because he was huh, melanated, huh? Nah, that's not how it works, homie. That's not how it works. You black folks, you chose the Democratic Party. Now you get you chose the Democratic Party yet again after what Obama did and after what Clinton did. All of these Democrats did really really bad things to black america and y'all still kept voting democrat 
I don't feel sorry for y'all. And I say y'all because I'm not you. I don't think like you. This is why I don't freaking vote, man. Because what good is my vote as one freaking person? There needs to be a lot more people like me on board in, in order to sit it out. Or just keep on voting Republican in rebellion. For crying out loud, man. Like, I'm, I'm sick of y'all, man. But you know what? Y'all getting what y'all deserve. And I say, like I said, I say y'all because I'm not, I'm not doing the, what y'all do, man. Democrat, no matter what. Faux blue, no matter who. Not me. Not me. Not after what I've seen. You know, we see zero progress every single time we vote Democrat, y'all. But y'all, but y'all act like y'all don't see it, though. <laughs> it is what it is, bro. I guess, I guess, you know, Biden, keep on, keep on bringing these, these migrants in so you can keep on uh, uh, pissing off black America. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. You know, it's black America's fault. You know, that's all I really got to say in this video, guys. Um, tell me what you think. Um, I really, like I said, I ain't really got no, nothing else to say. <laughs> I was going to make this video longer, but it is what it is. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. I Deuce. come from a place that's real scary. Big guns, like military, real shit. No fairy tale. I possess a shit ton of knowledge. I'm like the Holy Grail. I was born with high perseverance so that I never fail. They tried to label me crazy and so I hid the pain. Tell them. Big Pharma selling alternate cocaine. Tell them.